For this exercise, we need to find the x values corresponding to the maximum and minimum of y for x between 0 to 2 pi. The given expression has two trigonometric functions involved, which makes it not as straightforward. How can we transform it for our convenience? First, there is this addition subtraction trigonometric identity that combines two angles into one. It has a few variations, but for this problem, since we already have sine x and cosine x in the given expression, this form of the identity will suffice. One issue here is that the coefficients in the original expression are both greater than 1, which means they are not trigonometric functions, because trigonometric functions are all within the range of minus 1 to 1. So to circumvent this issue, we can define a right triangle where a and b are the size of the right angle, which means c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. We can then call one of the angles gamma. If we take the one between a and c, then sine gamma will be b over c, and cosine gamma will be a over c. What this means is that we can rewrite the original expression, starting with letting a equals 5 and b equals 3. Hence, we get c equals square root of 34. So even though in the original expression the coefficients are greater than 1, we can factor out a square root of 34 to make them smaller than 1. In this case, 3 over square root of 34 will be sine of gamma, and 5 over square root of 34 will be the cosine of gamma. Now we can make use of the identity mentioned earlier. So this becomes much easier because the cosine of any given angle is between minus 1 and 1. At 0 degree, we get its maximum, which equals 1. And at 180 degrees, we get its minimum at minus 1. However, for such problems, it is more conducive to express the angle in radians instead of degrees. This is because radian can be used alongside numbers devoid of units, which is what the unknown x often represents. Conversion between degree and radian is quite straightforward. Just remember that 2 pi is equivalent to 360 degrees, and you should be able to find one from the other using a ratio. So this means 0 degree equals 0 radian, and 180 degrees, which is half of 360, equals pi radian. Now back to our transformed expression. In order to get a maximum of y, we will need x minus gamma to be zero radian. This means x equals gamma. And in order to get a minimum of y, we will need x minus gamma to be pi radian, which makes x equals pi plus gamma. You can also use a calculator to obtain gamma using the inverse trigonometric functions and report the approximation of x 